This video will show you how to use your Dylan Quick Check T with the new Tower Mobile application. You can download the Tower Mobile application from the Apple or Android App Store. Power on the Quick Check T. Tap on the Tower icon on your Android or iOS device. From the Site Inspection screen, tap on the Devices button. From the Devices screen, Tap on the Add Bluetooth Device button if the Quick Check T is not already listed in the device's list. The mobile device will now scan for powered on Quick Check Ts in the area and display them on the device's list. Select the Dylan serial number of the device you want to connect to and name the device. Tap OK. Then, press the back arrow to go back to the Site Inspection screen. From the Site Inspection screen, tap on the New Inspection button. This brings up the Site Information screen where descriptive information can be entered for the site the end user is performing an inspection or maintenance on. Site ID. This is a required field as the records and report references this ID. Site Name. This is a required field as the records and report references this name. Site Address. Optional address of the site. Inspection Date pre-populated with the date the site information is entered. Contractor name. This is the name of the company performing the tower site inspection or maintenance. This is pre-populated if entered on the application setting screen. Inspected by. This is the end user's name. This is pre-populated if entered on the application's setting screen. GPS latitude and longitude. These are manually entered GPS coordinates of the tower if known. Tower manufacturer name, enter if known. Tower type, enter if known. Tower structure height, enter if known. Face width, the tower face width, enter if known. Site photo, this feature allows the user to add a single photo of the tower site sign at the site. Tap the yellow menu button and tap Save and Exit. The Quick Check T ships with a calibration check rod that is intended to verify the tension meter is within calibration. Each calibration check rod is stamped with a serial number. This serial number is stored in the Quick Check T's calibration memory. Caution! Before using the calibration check rod, be sure that the middle sheave of the Quick Check T is in the T position. Using the calibration check rod with the middle sheave in any other position will result in damage to the rod, requiring both the rod and the quick check T to be sent in for recalibration. Tap the yellow menu button and tap wire tension. The mobile device will attempt to wirelessly connect to the quick check T selected in the device's screen. Once connected, the quick check T device information will be visible on the top of the screen. The live tension reading will also be visible. The check calibration button at the bottom of the wire tension screen enables the user to check the quick check T to ensure it is within calibration. Clamp the quick check T onto the calibration rod. Be sure the rod is riding in the center groove of all three sheaves as shown here. Press the Check Calibration button on the Tower app to store the CalCheck reading. If the reading is within tolerance, CalCheck Yes will be displayed at the top of the screen, and this value will be exported in the report summary. Press Done to return to the wire tension screen. Once calibration has been verified, unclamp the Quick Check T from the calibration rod and store the rod appropriately. Press the white box next to Select Wire to choose the wire size selection. This list is comprised of all the wire calibrations in the current connected Quick Check T. Once you select a wire, it will now be visible on the wire tension screen and will be selected on the Quick Check T. The colored box next to the wire size indicates the paint color of the overwrap on the guy wire cable. Press the white box next to Anchor to choose the anchor selection. The selected anchor will show up on the wire tension screen as well as the Quick Check T's screen. Press the white box next to Guy Level to choose the Guy Level selection. 
The selected guy level will show up on the wire tension screen as well as the quick check tease screen. Please note, it is important to have an anchor and guy level selected as the pre-tension and post-tension readings are stored with reference to the chosen selections. The next step is to enter in the tower measurements by pressing the white boxes next to the labels. At this time, you can also change the wire type from extra high strength or EHS to bridge strand or BS and set the initial tension percentage. Once the tower measurements are entered, the target, min, and max tensions are calculated and displayed under the live tension reading. The red live tension reading indicates the tension is outside the min and max values of the target tension. Once the wire is within the min and max values, the tension reading will be white. The temperature and wind speed are displayed on the wire tension screen and used to calculate the target, min, and max tension. By pressing the edit icon, you can change whether the temperature and wind speed are keyed in manually or updated automatically from the weather service. A data connection and location services are required for this option. Press the OK button when finished to return to the wire tension screen. Now, we will show you how to clamp on the quick check T onto the wire. Position the middle sheave according to the wire size chosen earlier. Use the P sheave for diameters between 3 16 and half inch and T for wire diameters between half inch and one inch. Line up the wire in the grooves of the outermost sheaves, then line up the middle sheave. Before clamping the quick check T on, roll it along the wire back and forth a few times. Clamp the quick check T onto the wire by raising the lever arm until it locks in the upright position. Pressing the pre-tension button will store the initial guy wire tension reading to the anchor and guy level selections made. The value of the pre-tension reading will show where the pre-tension button used to be. After a pre-tension reading has been stored, screenshots and or photos can be attached to an anchor and guy level record. Pressing the screenshot button at the bottom of the wire tension screen will store the current screen to the record. Multiple screenshots can be stored for every record. Pressing the photo button brings up a screen to select either camera or photo gallery for the source of the photo. After the guy wire has been tensioned to target, the post tension button can be pressed to store the final tension to the anchor and guy level selected. The value of the post tension reading will show where the post tension button used to be. Once a pre-tension reading has been stored, the GPS coordinates will be visible on the wire tension screen for that anchor and guy level selection. By pressing the edit icon, the user can change whether the GPS readings are from the mobile device or the built-in GPS in the Quick Check T. Once selected, press close to return to the wire tension screen. Release the lever arm and unclamp the Quick Check T from the wire. Be sure the screen returns to zero. Then, reattach the tension meter onto the wire. Check the cable tension. Be sure to unclamp the Quick Check T and allow it to return to zero each time you adjust tension. Repeat this process for each wire and each leg of the tower. This concludes the video on how to perform the tensioning procedure with the Dillon Quick Check T tension meter. Thank you.